Hello everyone and welcome to another Starbase video. One of the various ways you can make money in Starbase is transportation. This includes completing transportation missions or simply buying low from one place, transporting and selling for a higher price at another place. There are different methods of transportation suitable for different situations and exploring those is what this video is going to be all about. First of all, you can, of course, transport some items in your own inventory or by just placing them in your ship, but this would require you to bolt the items in place in order to make sure they don't fly around and break during flight. As you can see, this doesn't look that nice and it can be quite time-consuming to do. And what happens if they're not bolted to the ship? Well, this. Thus, a more efficient way is to use crates. So, let's talk about them a bit first. Cargo crates are used for storing items that don't fit in your inventory. Properly assembled cargo crates create a field inside them that keeps the items in place. They also look a lot nicer in a pile than a bunch of random items bolted to the walls of your ship. Another option is to use modular crates. They compress items stored inside them and are thus capable of storing items that are bigger than the crate's own size. In addition, connecting several crates create a larger storage unit that acts as one single unit. However, unlike cargo crates, the modular crates require power to function. They have an inbuilt battery that can power the crate for a short period of time, but it's better to connect them to an external power source during transportation. All in all, the two different crates are quite useful when attempting to boost the amount of goods you can transport at a time for maximum profit. Now, here are a few different ways you can safely transport your items to your destination of choice. One option is to simply bolt the crates inside your ship. This is a simple solution that doesn't require any extra devices. However, it might not be ideal for transporting bigger amounts of cargo, as the loading and the unloading can take some time. There are also a few devices that are designed to make your transportation business easier. One of these is the cargo lock frame. The cargo lock frame is the blue field here which keeps the items that are placed inside it safely in place during flight. The frame has a slider which controls its state, or in other words, whether it's locking items inside it or not. It's especially useful for smaller items and items that have a regular shape, such as crates. In order to demonstrate the use of the cargo frame, meet the ship called the Urchin. Since the Urchin's cargo frame is located on the underside of the ship, it allows for easy loading of cargo by either simply landing on top of it, or by using the ship's structure beam to lift the cargo up to the frame. If you want, you can also automate the loading and unloading by programming yourself some loading robots, or by programming the ship to do it on its own. Another device that keeps your cargo in place is the cargo beam. The cargo beam devices emit beams which attempt to lock onto whatever object they hit. The cargo beams need to hit the object from at least three different directions in order to lock the object in place. As you can see here, the beams are yellow when they aren't locked onto anything and turn blue when they're locked on. Using cargo beams is a great option for bigger and more irregular shaped items such as asteroids or for towing ships. That's it with the ways of cargo transportation that we're going to explore here, but you can, of course, always think of your own way of doing things and build that, as Starbase offers plenty of tools for designing and programming ships yourself. And if you ever start feeling lonely with just you and your crates, you can switch to earning your income by transporting your fellow robots from point A to point B. Just make sure to be on schedule.